first shout out to Kyle. Used to see Kyle a lot at uh, Bellagio back in the day. Now I see him at Bally's. He uh, discovered the channel, watched a couple of videos. Cool that you discovered the channel, Kyle. Today's video is an uh, interesting question a friend of mine asked a few years ago. A friend of mine asked me, he used to play in our home games. He doesn't play, I don't think he ever played in a casino. Uh, he asked, at what age did I think I would be in my prime in terms of poker? And I said like, well up to this point, like now, I don't know what year it was, 2020, 2021 maybe he asked me. I said like, right now I've been better than I ever have been. Uh, but he was like talking about like, I don't know, if you keep playing until you're 50, like at what age would you guess? And it wasn't exactly the question he was asking, but I kind of think about that and vary into that question sometimes. <sighs> Getting better or worse at poker, it's an interesting question because so many things change. If you're wondering, I'm in the Sahara parking garage. So many things change that it's tough to like isolate just that one variable, your own uh, skill level. And I thought about it for years and like fairly recently kind of uh, had this realization that even though you can't actually do it, like this is the way to compare whether you're like better or worse. I was thinking about when I started playing, my first 625 hours about were in Milwaukee. And I remember like a lot of those hands, I remember the player pool, I remember a lot of uh, like moves I had, a lot of like mistakes I was making that took way longer than they should have to fix. But in those 625 hours, I think I made around 1850 per hour, exact number on the screen. And then I was thinking, today, if me today, if Rice in February 2024 could go back in time and play in those games, what would happen? And I think I would make like double. Like, the skill and knowledge I have in poker today is so much greater than the skill and knowledge I had in like 2014 in Milwaukee. And if I was making like 1850 then, I would actually be like pretty surprised if I made like under 30 an hour. I think it would be like probably somewhere between like 35 and like $45 an hour. Those games were amazing and I remember some really bad mistakes I just kept making until it took like months for me to like get rid of some bad habits and uh, a lot. A lot would be like a lot more efficient if I could just go back in time and play those um, Milwaukee games in 2014. The thing is now, it's like, besides things changing in poker, I haven't been back to play. I haven't been back in the state of Wisconsin since uh, I moved in 2014. So it's like, it's tough to compare like poker in Vegas in 2023 and poker in Milwaukee in 2014 and try to answer the question like, how much better are you? Or are you better? Are you worse? Are you the same? Because there's like a lot of other variables in that question. You really need to like try to keep every single variable the same. And the same thing like now, like me in 2023 playing in mostly in Vegas. What if I took like Rice from the year 2014 and brought him in the future and had him play Vegas in 2023? That would be bad. Um, it would take a lot of getting used to Vegas. Vegas being different than uh, Wisconsin. And they were just like... There were some bad mistakes I made that the player pool in Milwaukee like let me get away with that I really shouldn't have been getting away with. And I think the player pool in Vegas would not have let me off the hook so easy. And it would have been rough if me 10 years ago was sent to the future and made to play Vegas 2023 poker games. Uh, that would have been bad. So yeah even though a lot has changed cities have changed the game has changed uh the player pool has changed the buy-ins have changed blinds in some places have changed rake has changed even though all those things have changed if you keep like one city one year and like one player pool the same and compare like you know yourself at like age 22 for example and yourself at age 28 for example trying to imagine yourself playing in that same city i think that's the best way to do it and uh yeah i think it would be like it would be incredible what I made. I, I made 1850 an hour. It was 1-2 to start, and then they changed it to 1-3. And for everyone who thinks rake only goes up, uh, the rake went down. It was 1-2 with a $6 rake, and they changed it to 1-3 with a $5 rake. But regardless of that, for, forget how many big blinds per hour it was. It was about 1850 per hour in terms of uh, dollars. So yeah, I think like 
me today going back to Milwaukee 2013 2014 I'd be making like 35 plus an hour so yeah uh, it's not exactly the, the question my friend asked but like definitely closer to my prime today than I was in 2013 and I don't know when it would go down when I would start like getting worse but I don't believe it's happened yet and remember rice is a spoon food